Everybody say that word right there. Oh. We have to stop around here with that word. And oftentimes we find that that word, almost every time it's inserted, messes with some of our thinking. Every time. Now, how many of you wives, you go to your husband and says, say, tell him you want all that he's got in his billfold. After he damages his billfold out, how many of you expect to go find, open his billfold and find that there was still a little bit he held back? You go to the bank and you tell the teller, I want all that's in my account. <laughs> what do you want? You want her to give you a $10 bill and keep the other 90? No, you want the, all, the whole hundred. You want everything. That word all means everything. He told his disciples, we're going to Jerusalem. And all things that were written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. Uh-oh. That goes against a lot of theology that's being taught out there. How many times have you heard that Christ didn't accomplish all that he come to do? You ever heard that? Yeah, but he didn't accomplish everything that he came to do. Mm -hmm. tired. Jesus, when he told his disciples when they went to Jerusalem, he said, when we go to Jerusalem, all the things that were written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be accomplished. All of them. Yeah, but there's a gap in Daniel's 70th week. You mean he didn't accomplish that part of it? And that's what they will say is, no, he didn't accomplish this. Now, I like what Brother Roger told a man one time when they were talking about it, and this guy was trying to convince him that Jesus didn't accomplish everything that the script prophets prophesied that he would accomplish. And Roger looked at him, and you know Roger, he can be blunt sometimes. He looked at him and said, so he's a failed Messiah. No. Jesus said that when they went to Jerusalem, that all the things that had been written about him, all of them were going to be accomplished. Now, do we believe man or do we believe Jesus? Jesus spoke this. Jesus spoke this. That all these things would be accomplished. Everything that was prophesied about him would come to pass. Do we believe man or do we believe Jesus? I don't know about you, but I, I, I choose to believe the Word of God and I choose to believe Him. I choose to believe Jesus. I believe He, he knew what He was talking about. Time and time again, people say, well, but they were mistaken. They tell that of the apostles. You'll ask them a question and they'll say, well, the apostles were mistaken. You know what? We've got to be careful because they wrote the word New Testament. If they were mistaken on small matters, how can we trust them on big matters? How can we trust them on anything? Certainly we've got to believe what they say. We can't use that to, to back up and make excuses for why it doesn't sound like it sounds. We've got to take the word of God and believe it. We can't twist it around to, to fit our own theology. And Jesus told his disciples, he said, when we go to Jerusalem, all the things that the prophets said will be accomplished. Everything they prophesied that the Son of Man would do, they're going to be accomplished in Jerusalem when we go. Men put a gap in Daniel's 70th week and push some of it ahead. But I tell you what, if you'll look at them things that they push ahead, you'll find that Christ accomplished them. It says there'll be an end to sin. People look around the world that we're living in and they say, well, there's not an end of sin. But the Bible teaches us that in the kingdom of God, there is no sin. Why? Because it's covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. That don't mean we're all perfect. 
But it, sin is covered with the blood of Jesus. It's been ended. They say in the future that a, a sacrifice will cease. But after the death and sacrifice of Jesus Christ, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. He was the final sacrifice. You know what? It did cease. There's no other way to push your sins ahead because there's nothing to push it ahead to. All the way from the Old Testament, when they pushed their sins ahead one year, they were pushing it to Calvary. Guess what? Calvary's behind us. And if you push your sins ahead one more year, there's nothing to push it to. You've still got to come back to Calvary. The one and only final sacrifice. There remained no more sacrifice for sins. This was the final sacrifice that there would ever be. And it's the only one that ever covered sins. Remember that whenever they took and sacrificed in the Old, Test Old Testament, they didn't forgive their sins. It pushed them ahead. It rolled them ahead. His brother Price was talking about it one Sunday morning. I got to thinking about it and I th thought, that's just like a big roll of twine. Every year they'd add this year's sins onto the ball and roll it ahead and that big old ball of twine get bigger and bigger. And it never went away until Jesus was crucified and his blood shed and that was the final sacrifice and it washed away sin. It's the only sacrifice that has ever done away with sin.